guys, it's your girl T. So I want to go ahead and shout out Jacob Chavez on Twitter. He's one of the first ones to send me this story. And once again, it's coming from our first favorite state, wretched ass Florida, okay? So once again, Florida is back in the news, honey, and they're back in the news for some more fuckery. So what's going down is that we have a 27-year-old man. He's a single father of a five-year-old little girl, and he met an 18-year-old girl on Plenty of Fish. He took her out. They went out to eat. They went bowling. And then he ended up inviting her back to his house. And so they chilled at the house and everything else. She ends, up calling him, she ends up calling him the next day, saying that she really enjoyed the date, she had a really good time, and that she would like to see him again. So he ends up inviting her back to the house, but this time she ends up coming with three damn goons with her, okay? So it's her and three other guys, and they proceed to beat him up, take all his electronics, and then to add insult to injury, they end up shooting and killing this man. The whole situation is just really disturbing. I want you guys to go ahead and check out this news clip, and I'm gonna come back with the rest of my commentary. That was about the dating app they say four people used to end a Polk County man's life. Good evening, everyone. I'm Jameis Newell. And I'm Wendy Ryan. Thanks for joining us. This five-year-old little girl will never share another smiling moment with her dad. Auburndale Police just charging four people, including an 18-year-old girl, for Adam Hillary's murder. Tonight, ABC Action News reporter Clifton French is live to explain his quest to find love that ended his life. Clifton? Yeah, this 18-year-old girl uh, met Adam Hillary on the dating app and website Plenty of Fish. Now, they spent some time at his home here, and that's where police say she was able to case the place. Like any date, it ends. But after that, she came back here with these three men. I miss my daddy because he's with um, Jesus. That's one thing I can't say. You know, my brother, you know, he's a hero to many people, and especially that little girl. This is Adam Hillary. He's a father, a huge FSU fan, a boxer, and he's already missed. It seems like a random act, but it, to me, it seems like it was something planned out. Tonight, new information about what happened early Friday morning inside of his apartment. Documents describing a well thought out plot to rob Adam Hillary. It started when he met 18 year old Haley Bustos on the dating app Plenty of Fish. They went bowling and spent some time at his apartment where she was able to see all of his belongings. It seemed like that's what she was intending to do. Police believe she was casing his home. Hillary then dropped her off at this apartment and drove home. It was here where police say she, Joshua Ellington, Gary Gray, and Andre Warner planned their robbery. Going back to Adam's home, they banged on the back door, forced their way inside, and had Adam get on his knees in the kitchen, where Ward shot him once in the head. After stealing electronics, police reports say Gray and Warner laughed about Hillary begging for his life. Tonight, police say they won't be surprised if Bustos and these other men have committed robberies like this in the past. We have to go through it. We're going to be strong, but no one else has to go through this. And maybe because of this happening, that if there are any other victims, that maybe that could be closure for them as well. Now, all four folks that have been charged with Hillary's murder have been arrested in the past. Everything ranging uh, from burglary to grand theft, uh, also other robberies. Now, tonight, police believe this 18-year-old girl could be connected to another Polk County burglary. I'm reporting live in Auburndale, Clifton French, ABC Action News. All right, so you guys just saw that news clip. And, you know, a lot of things bothering with this story. First of all, these three men are evil as hell. They stated in that news report that this man never put up a fight. He told them that he had a five-year-old daughter, and they sat there and laughed while they put a bullet in his brain. And the only thing that they stole was just petty shit, like an Xbox, some watches, you know, just some, like, electronics that they were probably going to pawn and only get a few hundred dollars for, and they took this man's life behind that. It's also come out that that 18 year old girl was paid 50 bucks to set that man up. You know, this whole situation is insane, but I also have to question the victim as well. And I'm not trying to blame the victim, but I also have to question what the victim was also thinking. First of all, this man is 27 years old. The girl is 18. We had another case like this where another man almost lost his life because he was set up by an 18-year-old girl. He went to go meet her at 3 o'clock in the morning, and he was robbed and almost killed. 
by the grace of God, he got away. But like I said in that video, you know, some of these men have to be smarter. You know what I'm saying? This girl's 18 years old, meaning that an 18 year old and a 27 year old don't have that much in common. But if you want to date 18 year olds, that's fine. But be smart about it. Why would you allow anybody to come into your home, especially when you're a single father to a little girl? That girl that he met off of the internet had no business in his home, point blank, period. We've had other cases of females meeting guys off of the internet, meeting them off of dating sites, and then bringing them home and getting killed and people shame the woman and they say it's her fault i'm not saying that it's necessarily the victim's fault but i also feel like people need to take any situation like this and take a lesson from it if you do not know somebody like that they have no business being in your home you know and the fact that this girl was in his home she was casing and looking for electronics you know how far was she in the home? Was she just sitting in the living room? Was he showing her, you know, these gadgets and, you know, showing stuff off to her? Because little stupid things like that impress 18-year-olds. 27-year-old woman is not going to be impressed because you have an Xbox One or because you have an iPhone. An 18-year-old, possibly. You know, so I'm curious, was he showing her all his stash? Was he showing her all this stuff? How did she know that he had all this stuff there? Was it just laying around? So those are some of the things that I'm questioning in this situation. And for this girl to not value somebody's life to think that her being paid 50 bucks made it okay to set this man up is sick all these people deserve to be in jail for the rest of their life you know this young girl is out here now without a father she's five years old and i don't feel like the news media needed to interview her that little girl is five and she's still trying to process the fact that her father who was raising her is not coming back you know, it's very hard out here, yes, to be single. You know, everybody's looking for love and, and things like that. But with that being said, we also have to be smart. And we also need to realize that just because you're meeting somebody off of an app, it's no different than meeting a stranger on the street. You don't know them like that. And you really need to go through a courting process and meeting them in public and going on a few dates before you invite anybody to your house and meeting in mutual locations. You know, I always find that funny and it's uh, and it's crazy, you know, because I've had people ask me things like that. You know, when I've gone out on dates with people and they're like, oh, you know, let's go back to your house and kick it. I don't know your ass like that. I don't let nobody over my house. You know what I'm saying? Point blank, period. I don't allow people to come to my home. People barely even know where I live. So it's just like you have to be smart because, again, you don't know what that person is coming to your home to do if they're casing out the shit that you have. And if you have some nice shit, you don't want everybody in your house no damn way. Point blank, period. So this whole situation is just sad. But I think that a lot of us need to wake up and use a lot of discernment and discretion when using these dating apps. You know, like I said, be careful. I don't care if you're meeting somebody online, if you're meeting somebody in the street. Either way, they're both strangers. I know some people feel like it's safer meeting somebody on the street, and to me, that's no more safer than meeting somebody on the internet. Either way, you don't know that person. So again, we have to use discernment, and we have to be smart about it, and everybody that you meet does not have good intentions for you, so you don't need to bring them into your home. You know, thank God they didn't kill this little girl. You know, they could have killed that little girl in her sleep. Anything could have happened to her. You know, so the whole situation is just really disturbing, but I definitely feel horrible for the victim. I feel horrible for the daughter, and like I said, these four people need to be locked up for the rest of their life so anyways let's go ahead and get the discussion popping go ahead and leave a comment let me know your thoughts on this entire disturbing situation once again coming from our first favorite state ratchet ass florida all right deuces hey you guys it's your girl t make sure to subscribe like and share my videos you can also visit lovelytea.com to purchase any merchandise also don't forget to click the boxes down below to watch any of my previous videos talk to y'all later deuces